everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Shanti today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my Halloween decor haul for 2021 I didn't initially uh, think I was gonna have enough to even do a haul because I wasn't intending on buying a whole lot of Halloween decor this year and it's not like it's so so much but it is a good amount it's definitely a good amount to make a haul for and then at the end I'm gonna share with you guys my most favorite item that I've gotten so far I have a couple other things coming in the mail but I just know that this is gonna be my favorite thing so if you've been watching my vlogs, you will see a couple of these items be repeat, but I went ahead and decided to include these pieces for the people that haven't seen it and because it is Halloween decor. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Dollar Tree since it's like super simple. So from the Dollar Tree, I went ahead and got two packs of these skeleton garlands. I like to take them all of, off of the string and I like to use them around my house. I got two of these skull heads and then I also got two of these skeletons. Okay, so next up, either of these items came from Target or the Target Dollar Spot. So these potion bottles came from the Target Dollar Spot. They're lit. This one is not. So I'm going to try to ask my husband to switch this, the light from here to here because I'd rather have this one light up as opposed to this one. Anyways, they were $3. My sister Tanisha actually picked these up for me. This one says Witch's Brew and this one says Magic Potion. My sister Tanisha also picked up this spatula and cookie cutter for me. It was $3. And it says whipping up something wicked. I thought that was super cute. And then the cookie cutter is a witch's hat. So this is the last item I got from the Target dollar spot. The other items just were in Target. But this was $3. And this side says, hey boo. This is the side I'm going to be using in Khaleesi's room. And then the other side says, happy Halloween. So I was looking for two of these candle holders. This is the Threshold brand. This was $10. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a bird's foot. This cauldron mug is super cute. If you guys can see it, it's the Threshold brand. It was $5. I don't think you can see the, I ain't showing all the detail. That's why you can't see it. I don't know if you can see the detail on it though. It's a spider's web and then it has like a little spider. Probably can't see it all that great. But anyways, it was $5. And you guys, I didn't even think I was gonna be able to find this little guy, but I'm so happy I did. It's also the Threshold brand and it was $5 as well. Isn't this so stinking cute? Like, come on. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I was able to get my hands on one of these. And then the last thing I got from Target, um, I actually got it from Target online. Okay, so I'm trying to show you how the top part lights up. Super cute. I love like all the details, like the trees on either side and the gate. And it's made out of wood. All right, so next I'm going to go ahead and move on to the Amazon purchases. I'm going to show you everything I got from Mud Pie. I absolutely love Mud Pie. You can actually go to Mud Pie website and purchase it directly, but it seems like it's a little bit cheaper on Amazon. So I got these three little towels. This one says Happy Haunting. So cute. Y'all know I can't say, like, I have to say everything is so cute. So just forgive me in advance for saying everything is so cute, okay? But anyways, I really like it. The little legs. And I love the color of the actual towel. It's still like a neutral color. This one says Bon Appetit. And you see the little skeleton feet jiggling. Absolutely love it. And then this guy says Trick or Treat. You guys tell me this little gnome. Tell me this is not cute. Tell me you could hold this up without saying this is cute. And honestly you guys I don't remember how much those towels were. But I will link those down below. And then from Mud Pie I got this little like Jack Lantern bowl. And it has this um... I don't know it's, what's this called like a knife wood this thing right here I don't know it, it comes with this okay the only thing I don't like is I wish it like would stay up like this but because of the heads are so heavy it has to well I guess it could stay like that I'm trying to show me out but it was staying like this so I don't know because this top part is so heavy nevertheless I don't remember how much I pay for this but I will link it down below as well how adorable are these little ghost salt and pepper shakers? You guys, can we, you guys, can we just take a minute? Oh my goodness. So, y'all know what I'm gonna say, so cute. Ugh, I get on my own nerve, okay? But anyways, I really, really like these. I don't remember how much it was, but I will link it down below. But you guys already know I'm gonna use this on my tear tray, okay? And then the last thing I got from Mud Pie is this. Ugh. This is actually one of my favorite pieces this year. This, now I'm about to say it girl, okay? This is cute. This is really, really cute. And then the spoon says boo to you. I'm in love with this. Hi. I got issues. 
And then you guys, so I wanted to make a Beetlejuice tear tray, but I just know that that's gonna require probably like a couple, maybe maybe by next year or the following year, like I'll build up a little like memorabilia from Beetlejuice, but I was able to find one piece and I got it from Amazon and I don't remember how much it costs. I think it was like 15 bucks, but if um, this is still available, I will link this guy down below. Let me know down below, did you used to love watching Beetlejuice when you were little? And then the last thing I got from Amazon is this blanket. It's just a black and white striped blanket, really soft. And it, oh, look at me, look at this, it matches my sweater. But anyways, super soft, can't wait to wash it. And then I'm probably gonna be using this in our master bedroom. And then randomly, I got this one little item from Hobby Lobby. You know, Hobby Lobby does not carry Halloween decor anymore, but I thought it'd be super cute if, <laughs> there's that word. Anyways, I was thinking I could put like some kind of like maybe boo or eek or something like that on here with my Cricut machine. And I think I got this, yeah, this was $9.99, but I got it for 50% off, so I got it for $5. And I'll probably put this on a tier, my tier tray as well. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so moving on to Joann's. I got these pumpkins and this is, I was gonna use this for the Beetlejuice like tear tray if I was able to do it because they're like striped black and white pumpkins. And then there's some polka dot ones as well. I don't remember how much I paid for this, you guys, because I actually just threw this in here because I actually got these last year and I got them on sale, I just never used them. And then from Joann's, I got this Halloween stem I love how it has like the, the moss in here. It was originally $12.99, but I know that I got it on sale. It's a pretty long stem. I wish they had more than one, but this is the only one I found. And then my most favorite item that I got from Joann's, I was super excited when I seen this. I've actually shared this item in another vlog, and it's this ceramic ghost. This thing is pretty big, and he lights up. This is gonna be so fun, you guys. I'm just way too excited for Halloween. I do remember it being like a hundred dollars and then it was like 50 40 or 50% off and then there's like a little nick on this one so I got an even more of a discount so I don't remember how much I paid but it was well worth it now we're gonna move on to Home Depot so these are called Rod and Patch LED Scarecrow pathway markers I'm not gonna be using them for pathway markers I'm gonna use them here in the house but let me show you what they do <laughs> I feel like these were like 20 or $25. I can't remember, but I love the look of them. Okay, you guys, so I seen these on Instagram and I was like, my Home Depot is probably not gonna have them because you know when you want something you're looking for, you just can't find it. That's me. I have to either look at several different stores. I, I usually don't get what I want on the first look. Let's just put it like that. But I did end up finding these on the first try. These are Rotten LED Pumpkins. This is what it looks like. <laughs> You guys, I'm just gonna have way too much fun decorating. I got four of them, they all look a little different. This one is like this. Then I got two smaller ones, and they all are LED. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to Home Goods and TJ Maxx. If you guys follow me on my other channel, which if you don't, it's always listed down below in the description box, but you'll know that for every season, for every holiday, I have a theme for my kids' rooms. And for Khaleesi's room, her theme for Halloween is ghosts, but like the friendly ghosts, you know, I don't want anything to be scary in their rooms. You guys, I've seen this on Instagram and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta get this for my baby. And so I found this Rachel Zoe blanket. Look how cute. It has tassels on the ends. I'm excited, like this is my blanket, like this is gonna go in my room. This is freaking cute. So my sister Tanisha and I, we were in Home Goods and we found this ghost. Now it's actually a door stopper, but we seen it on, we seen it on somebody else's YouTube channel. And oh my goodness, she had found her one and then she actually spotted this when we were together. It was only $12.99 and um, because it's a door stopper, it has like a hard bottom, but it's okay. I'm just gonna use it as a stuffed animal for her bed. And I'm excited because the other ghost like stuffed animal that I wanted from Pottery Barn, it was out of stock. So I was really excited that we found this one. And then lastly from Home Goods, I got this pillow and it was $19.99. 
So for these next two items, I'm gonna have to stand up and show them to you. You guys, I totally just overlooked this bag. All these items here came from the Target Dollar Spot. And actually, my sister also picked all these items up. She found them on different days, with the exception of, I think I found a couple of those um, potion bottles. But anyways, all of these items came from the Target Dollar Spot. We were super excited that she was able to find these pumpkins. She actually had walked in when the lady was putting them out. And then each of these were $5 each. These little felt pumpkins were $3 each. And then these potion bottles were each a dollar. All right, so now I can show you the last two items that I have. Okay guys, so I got this from TJ Maxx. It was $39.99. I absolutely love it. I'm in love with broomsticks, you guys. And I just feel like this is a nice staple to have. And it's, it's different, like you don't see things like this all the time. Which brings me to my last and favorite piece. You guys, this was an investment. I got this from Pottery Barn, but it was well worth it. Look how freaking cute this broomstick is. Like, ugh. I have an obsession with broomsticks. And then I don't know if you can tell, but it curves at the top. I just absolutely love it. So that's gonna be it for my Halloween home decor haul for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to head over to my other channel, you guys, because that's where I'm gonna be sharing my Halloween decorate with me video and my Halloween home tour. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.